Welcome and thank you for getting started with Sentry One Document. The first thing we're going to do is open up a browser window. We're going to navigate to documents.sentryone.com. From here, we're going to download the config tool and remote agent. The agent is the service that's going to be responsible for processing the document workload, while the configuration tool is going to be what allows you to configure new solutions and upload them straight to Sentry One Document. This is also where you'll activate your licenses for your remote agent. Complete the end user license agreements, pick the destination to install, allow it to make changes to your device. Now we're going to launch the remote agent config tool. We'll be presented with an application window and you'll be asked where you'd like to connect your remote agent to. And in our case, the default SQL Server instance. And when we have an on-premises offering for Sentry One document, this is going to be configurable. But right now, we're going to want to point it to document.sentryone.com. We're prompted for some credentials and also asked to set the maximum number of concurrent tasks that you want your remote agent to be able to carry out. We'll keep ours at the default and then Sentry One document will ask you for the location for the cache. We're asked to authenticate. You can see here we're using our Sentry One account, and then we're good to go. Welcome to Sentry One Document. We're ready now to create a new solution. In this video, we use Tyler Solution as our example, and then we're going to call this Tyler SQL Server. This is an item that will live in our solution that we're going to be able to kick off snapshots for and document the metadata around this data source. Click OK and then sign into Sentry One Document. This is where we can access what we just configured. We switch the organization and here we see our example, Tyler's Solution. Now we're going to configure a snapshot. We have the option through the command line to schedule a snapshot, but let's take one immediately. If we want to check the history and progress of this snapshot, go ahead and click right here. And we can see that this was just started a minute ago and it's working to take a snapshot. All right, we're nearly done generating documentation. The time just depends on the size of your environment and what level of detail you decide to include in your documentation. We can drill in here and examine some of the metadata that has been passed and documented here and drill in a little bit further. Configurations, different databases that exist within the targeted SQL Server, it also gives us a look into some of the security settings. We can take a look at different logins. And we can choose which remote agent pool we'd like to use in this solution. This is great for larger environments to distribute that workload. Thank you for taking a look into Sentry One Document and getting started with us. For more information on Sentry One Document and all of our tools, head to sentryone.com and enjoy your bird's eye view of your entire environment.